In this video, we're going to find the value of sine 1 plus sine 2 plus sine 3 plus dot 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 plus sine of n. And all these angles are in radians, not degrees. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss a video. Okay, we know that e to the i theta equals cosine theta plus i sine theta, a sine theta. So we're going to let theta go to negative theta. So we're going to have e to the negative i theta equals cosine of negative theta, but that's the same thing as cosine theta, because cosine's an even function. And then similarly, sine's an odd function, so sine of negative theta is the same thing as negative sine of theta. So that'd be negative i sine of theta. So we're gonna do e to the i theta, subtract e to the minus i theta. So you'll see that cosine theta will cancel on each. And i sine theta minus negative i sine theta, so that would be 1 minus negative 1 times i, so that would be 2i sine of theta. So thinking about the first equation, first identity we have, let's do the imaginary part on both sides. We have the imaginary part of e to the i theta equals. The imaginary part of cosine theta is 0 because cosine theta is a real value, and we're looking for imaginary parts only, and so only gives us sine theta because it's attached to i. So we have the imaginary part is equal to sine theta. Okay, so let's continue. So our su we're just gonna call it s of n equals the sum from k equals one to n of sine of k. But let's look at the k equals zero case because starting from zero helps us sometimes. So that would be sine of k at zero, so this would be sine zero but that's defined to be zero. So we can add zero to the left side and not change anything. And then combine, so this would be the sum from k equals zero to n of sine of k. We also know the sum of an imaginary part is equal to the imaginary part of a summation because the summation is over natural numbers. And the imaginary part is obviously not natural numbers. So this is equal to, we can take the imaginary part out we have the sum from k equals zero to n. So sine k is equal to the imaginary part of what? e to the i k from this. Plugging in k for theta, e to the i k. But we're gonna write that as e to the i to the k. So r equals e to the i, e to the i, just e to the i. And the sum from k equals zero to n of r to the k I've shown before is one minus, so we have the imaginary part of one minus r to the n plus one, or the n point plus one, so r is e to the i, the n plus one, all over one minus r, which is e to the i in this case. But it will help in the end to make the, to multiply by negative on both sides, so flipping the sign, so we have e to the i, n plus one, minus one, all over e to the i, minus 1. Okay. So we have here, this is interesting. So let's take out e to the minus i theta. So let's factor that out. To multiply to get to e to the i theta, we have to multiply by e to the 2i theta because 2 minus 1 equals 1. So we have e to the 2i theta minus 1 equals 2i sine theta. Okay. So we have e to the 2i theta minus 1 equals 2i. We're going to divide this or change the signs of, of the exponents. So this would be e to the i theta times sine theta. Okay, so this is kind of what we wanted, but not really because it's e to the something i minus 1. So let's let theta go to theta over 2. This will make 2 theta go to theta. So this would be e to the i theta, which is what we want, minus 1 equals 2i e to the i theta over 2 times sine of theta over two. Okay, good. So just for our convenience, we're gonna plug, we're gonna do the top part of the fraction first, the numerator first. So we're gonna plug in theta equals n plus one. So we have e to the i of n plus one minus one equals two i e to the i times n plus one over two we have sine of n plus 1 over 2. And let's plug in theta equals 1 because that is 
the denominator of the bottom fraction, e to the i minus 1. So this will be e to the i minus 1 equals 2i, e to the i fade over 2, but that's 1 over 2 times sine of a half. Now we're going to divide these, because that makes sense. Interestingly, so this equals will become 1 equals, 2i over 2i will just cancel. That's nice. Okay, so let's look at this divide by this. So e to the a plus b is, is e to the a times e to the b. So e to the i over 2 comes from n plus the 1. So that can just cancel. So this will just be e to the i n over 2. So we have e to the i n over 2, and this will cancel. Okay. But we want to find the imaginary part of this. So the imaginary part of this, I'll just do quotations just to show this part. This will be the imaginary part of this, but this is a real part, so this can go on the outside. So this will be e to the i n over 2 times sine of n plus 1 over 2 all over sine of 1 half. Because sine of any real number is always going to be real, it'll just be, yeah, range from negative 1 to 1. Okay. The imaginary part of e to the i times something, so that's theta in this case, so that, so it'll go back, so where do we have it? It'll go back to sine theta, so, and theta is n, theta is n over 2, so this will be sine of n over 2, all divided by sine of 1 half, times sine of n plus 1 over 2. So that is here, but I wrote it here, so okay. This will be sine 1 plus sine 2 plus dot 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 plus sine of n, and we got sine n over 2 over sine of 1 half times sine of n plus 1 over 2. And that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it.